Hello, Janice. Today. Today, we're going to review three types of Bitcoin wallets that executors often overlook. Uh, and this, what I mean by that is, uh, you know, after somebody has passed away and the executor is supposed to be sort of marshalling and gathering all the assets, if they're not professionals or not familiar with Bitcoin, here are some things they might overlook. Um, so we've discussed how to look for common Bitcoin key storage in previous episodes, uh, such as hardware wallets, software wallets, uh, or apps, and, uh, and even the written out keywords or seed, phrase, seed phrases. But next level, a professional Bitcoin executor will also find these other sort of slightly more esoteric but potentially valuable wallets. Yeah? Okay. All right. So first, wallets on a node. Okay, let me just back up a little bit. Okay. What is a node? And pretend uh, you're teaching me. Sure, sure, like, sure. <laughs> so think of a node as a server for the whole Bitcoin network. I mean, as we all know, Bitcoin is a digital or, or digital currency, and the way it travels across the world is not only through the traditional um, uh, servers, but there are specific types of servers called nodes that, sub that maintain the network for Bitcoin. Okay. These are intention the way Bitcoin is designed... These are intentionally inexpensive and meant for individuals to be able to afford and maintain so that there's a broad spectrum and net of individuals who, who comprise the network, not relying on Amazon, not relying on these huge big data centers. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does, yes. It's very intentionally, I think I'm using this word correctly, uh, egalitarian, where it's, it's meant for the, the individuals to, to be the backbone okay. of the system. Got it. Okay. So if you're wondering, like, oh, what are the chances this guy had a node at a server? It's actually very likely. All right. If, if he's into Bitcoin, right? Um, and yes, these, 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 these tiny, and they're very simple. They can be done on a Raspberry Pi or, or an old, old laptop. You don't even need anything current, you know, up to date, as long as, as long as it has sufficient memory space on it. So again, it's not very expensive. It's not very technically, technologically advanced. Um, so, you know, what's the point or, why, why should I look at this? Because these, these little devices, these nodes, will often have a wallet inside them as well. Ah, uh, okay. That's the point. So, Got it. yeah, any professional Bitcoin executor who, who can see or can sense that the decedent was, was pretty serious about Bitcoin, or more importantly, serious about privacy or decentralization, those are the kind of two of the reasons why somebody would have, a, have their own node. I'll say, oh, this guy um, you know, was very sort of anti big tech. You know, or that's what his, his, his heirs are telling yeah. me. Let's see if he had a node somewhere. You know, let me, let me check for that. And there might be some, some, some coin in there, basically. <laughs> Got it. Right. All right. So that's one uh, potentially overlooked wallet, the, the wallet on the node. Next are the lightning channels. All right. Let me back up again. <laughs> okay. All right. So on a high level, the lightning network is a second layer on top of the main bit work net, uh, on top of the main Bitcoin network layer, and this lightning layer, lightning layer relies on channels between lightning nodes. Okay, let me sort of explain what that means. Okay, when you use Venmo, uh, Janice, do you use Venmo? Yep. I do. And you and your buddies who are drinking or you know hanging out this week, you know, hey, I owe you five bucks for for that drink, and you owe me ten bucks for dinner. You guys have money fl flowing between the two of you for for the yes. week, right? So Venmo is not actually trans mon transmitting money back and forth each time you guys do, right? It's sort of keeping a spreadsheet or a tally of what's moving back and forth. And at the end of the, I don't know how, how often they do it, but at the end of the day or yeah. at the end of the week, or maybe even at the end of the month, they have a net amount of what, um, what dollars have to be transmitted from your bank to your friend's bank or vice Got versa. It. Okay. So it's not happening all at once every single time. Exactly. Two dollars here, two dollars there. Okay. That's sometimes referred to as a second layer on top of the main network. The main network being the two banks, which they're not Got really it. main network, but just in this example, and then the Venmo is the second layer, right? Got it. Okay. So Venmo has to hold some money to make sure those uh, those transactions, you know, have liquidity right. to them. Similarly, in Lightning. Uh, if you and I want to transact in Bitcoin, we're not going to send Bitcoin to each other each and every time. That's, a, that's just overtaxing on the network, and it's, there's reasons you don't want to do that. So instead, if we set up a lightning channel between the two of us, and you and I are often – let's say we regularly spend – oh, yeah, we also have an employer-employee or type, type relationship, right? Let's say we're regularly send, spending, sending 100 bucks to each other. You know, you're, okay. you're reimbursing me for um, postage or whatever we do, right? Sure, <laughs> I don't remember. sure. Yeah, 
So if, we, if we're regularly sending between a, about a hundred bucks to each other, you want the channel to be bigger than that. So you never get caught in a situation where the right. transaction won't work. So let's say our channel is three hundred bucks or even 500 bucks, just to make sure we have a lot of headspace. That 500 bucks is sort of locked in to the lightning channel between us. Okay. And upon my passing, my Bitcoin executor should come in, close the channel, and figure out what amount is owed to us, owed to my estate. It could be the full 500, or it could be money's owed to you. But we need to figure that out. And I know it's like, oh, that's a lot of work for 500 bucks. Channels can be much larger than that, obviously. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if we set up the channel years ago, and it was, it's, it's measured in Bitcoin, not in dollars, um, and Bitcoin's value has gone up since then, it might be a significant value. Right. I have a feeling if they're going to go through all of this with the nodes in the lightning channels, they're not talking about like $20, right? Or, well, it's actually technically yeah. supposed to be for smaller transactions and larger transactions. You might actually go to the trouble of putting it on the main Bitcoin network. But um, yeah, it could, it, I mean, as, yeah. the, as the lightning network grows bigger and more common, yes, it could be uh, growing in, um, a little bigger. in value. So I, I use a, the a, example of an abacus where we're just moving the beads back and forth. But yeah. the total row of beads is what is the dollars, and somebody needs to collect that upon death, right? Okay. Yeah. So yeah, a professional Bitcoin executor will recognize uh, that a Lightning wallet is on their, on their phone or, or the software is on their desktop. But hey, I need to check out if there's any channels I need to close to collect or pay out those funds and just you know, figure out what to do with those funds that are stuck on those channels. Yes. By the way, I hope I got that right. Anyone out there who is <laughs> more... Um, technologically savvy on Bitcoin and Lightning than I am, which is probably a lot of people, uh, please feel free to correct me. I'm totally open to that. <laughs> but for now, us lay people are really, we're learning uh, uh, whether it's hopefully learning that, not accurate. Or- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So last, last um, possibly overlooked wallet, if you don't have a, a professional Bitcoin executor, are alternative exchanges. So we've already talked in the past at length about um, you know, other, uh, the, but the, the main exchanges and even non Bitcoin enthusiasts have heard of Binance or Coinbase or Kraken, right? I mean, everyone's heard of those. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Look, all right, finally, I know. <laughs> I know what that means. So, so those are beginning to approach like e trade and like Vanguard level of familiarity. I think it's maybe not there yet, but getting there, right? But there are a whole bunch of other alternative exchanges that focus on privacy, that focus on international, that focus on swapping with altcoins. There's basically a whole bunch of alternative exchanges, and they may not even be technically um, companies. They might be more of a decentralized type of a software. Um, So basically, these are way more difficult or way way more um, niche in their – in what they are. So you, you probably would need a professional Bitcoin executor who, who would know how to recognize the existence of this software or this exchange and, and how to get in there and recover funds. Because yes, they, these, these types of exchanges often have a, a wallet built in or trades that are sort of in lieu or, or funds sitting on there that you probably want to get. <laughs> right. Oh, right. Absolutely. So I think that covers it. I'm sure, you know, this is constantly <laughs> evolving. So I'm sure um, yes. other issues will come up. Um, and we'll try our best to keep up to date. Absolutely. And uh, maybe one, I, we keep saying you should write a book on this, but I think mm-hmm. what it, it changes so much. Every time we talk, we've learned yeah. something different. Um, but you definitely know your stuff in general. Um, reach out to Anthony for professional executorship. And you, you know that you've got this Bitcoin stuff also down. Very good. Okay. Um, we're trying our best, but again, correct me if, uh, yeah. if you catch any mistakes and throw out any questions you can. If I can't answer it, I will try my best to, uh, to research and get those answers to you. All right. Thank you, Janice, as always. Thanks, everyone, for listening. Talk soon next time. Bye now.